as history tells, it was Dragnet started out in the prep gang area and they were dancers. You know, it was a lot of guys who were dancers. We pop locking, we boogie in, we break dancing. And then it went from that era of dancing to fighting. You know, people started going to jail, getting time in, in camp, juvie, YA. And then from that, it just escalated to a whole nother situation to where it's like now it's full-fledged game banging. The word dragnet, it's still some, 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 some debate where they actually got dragnet from, but the letters of dragnet stand for uh, doing right and getting it every time. And then, uh, you know, the homies, we would, they would say, you know, seven of them because it was seven letters in Gardena and seven letters in Dragnet. So that's where they came with the seven. And we would, you know, we always say seven of them, you know, because seven letter gang. That's where pretty much the Dragnet, uh, you know, name stuck. And it's fair to say that during the height of Dragnet, it was a Crip gang, even though it wasn't known as Dragnet Crips. Right, right, right. Because the homies would say cuz, and we was right under the shotguns. You know, the shotguns was, you know, it's, that's originally their neighborhood, but we came right up under them. And I mean, all the beefs they had, we had. All the people they got into, we got into it with. Dragnet is still alive. Uh, is it as thriving as it was in the early to mid 90s? Of course not, you know, but it's a lot of hoods that really ain't the hoods that they was in the early 90s and, and mid 90s. I mean, you still got people out here gang banging, but I mean, a lot of the homies just really calmed down, uh, started, started really just kind of living their life on another side of the tracks and not really, you know, being part of this game banging little, you know, going out and putting in work and doing all this other stupid stuff. So when you're young, you have a different mentality than somebody that's old, somebody that didn't been through something, somebody that didn't seen, you know, homies come and go and people, you know, deal with certain things in the street. So you change. It seemed like a lot of youth that uh, turned to the streets to release their frustration have went through some sort of abuse at home, but yeah. it's, it's something that as young black people never want to talk about. Right. Right. Uh, is that something that you've ever spoke to with someone else or do you just kept, kind of kept it to yourself? Well, I kept it to myself for a long while. Uh, and it's not that because I was embarrassed about it, but because the person that used to beat me and my siblings when I was a kid, uh, I was going to do something to this person once I got a certain age, you know. And I just really held all of it in. You know, I was, I felt as a child, I was neglected. I went through a lot of things, saw a lot of things uh, in my childhood that really turned me, you know, to be angry. But then, you know, I see a lot of kids, and this is what I'm starting to see now too. You got a lot of kids that grew up in the hills and they coming down to the streets to game bang. And I don't understand that. It's like, you grew up in a happy, wholesome home. Why do you feel like all of a sudden now you want to game bang? Because now game banging is, it's just, it's like a fad. Like it's the cool thing to do. A lot of people don't have no, no reason to do it. You're just doing it because like you just, like I said, everybody want to be tough. They want to be hard. They want to rap on these videos. I mean, it's like you got dudes rapping on these videos that come out and say that they not doing none of the stuff that they rapping about. <laughs> like, huh? Like that's- Do you think that rap and hip hop has maybe encouraged a lot of youth who ain't really with the streets to live that persona? Yeah, yeah. Because everybody has a TV, a tablet, a phone. And so it's, it's right there in, in, in a view, you know? It ain't like you gotta go to the hood, you know what I'm saying, to see rap now. It ain't like you gotta, you know, be actually right in the mix to see a fight or to see somebody get put on. You can go to YouTube, you can go to Facebook, you can go to any social network and see this ignorant violence and see this negativity being pushed and people just think it's cool. Because if you see a cat that's in a video, low rider, females, he throwing money, people gonna be like, man, I wanna be like that. But let me put on a music video where it's somebody talking about some empowerment, some doctors, some lawyers, some young women going to school. And don't, don't nobody want to see that because that's just the society we live in. This society is, is thriving off of guns, violence, drugs, uh, negativity. That's, nothing's wholesome now. You know, when I was a kid, you had things where it was situations to where we saw wholesome things, even though it was a lot of gang banging, but there were still things on TV that was wholesome. So saying all that to say, you can turn on YouTube and if you see somebody on there crip walking or blood walking, all of a sudden you want to be part of that because he got money now or he's flashy. And it's, it's a price to pay that comes with that lifestyle though. The police love to be 
uh, uh, reactive instead of proactive. I think that the, the LAPD, the Guardina police, you know, they can stop a lot of the things that go on, whether it's in Guardina and in a lot of cities, because you know who the main shot callers are. You know people that you can sit down and talk to, but they don't do that. You wait till a person commit a crime and then they all of a sudden, boom, you in jail, 40 years, 50 years, 60 years. It's like if you guys make your presence felt and not always, like I've been brutalized by the police before, you know, if you would just come into the neighborhood and really sit down with these guys and really try to have some type of camaraderie instead of soon as something happened, boom, you beat them up with a billy club or throwing them in a the jail cell. I think things would be different because we humans just like you guys are. Uh, you know, everybody see me with my tattoos immediately, I'm a gang member. But if they sit down and talk to me and understand where I'm coming from, oh man, he ain't even like that. You know, I've been judged by my, and that's okay though. I mean, this is what I chose to do. And people judge me immediately when they see me. Oh man, he, look at him, uh huh, he's just another statistic. But it's like, wait, hold on, I got my AA degree. I'm doing this, I'm doing that. I teach in church, I do this. I'm not trying to throw my attributes out there, but just fall back a little bit before you start calling people a gang member. He ain't gonna ever be done in life. And you know, police love to stop me. And hey, sir, how you doing? Like, I just got stopped. It's, it's a sad situation. I'm on my way to, uh, you know, Joe's Crab Shack, me and my fiance, and Torrance police get behind me, pull me over. What's up, man, what you doing in South Bay? Like, man, I can't, man, I can't, I can't be in the South Bay. I can't go eat at Joe's Crab Shack, man. You know, and so it's just little situations like that. You know, they sitting here, you know, hustling and bustling me really over nothing. I got pulled over in Bakersfield. They run my name. Certain things come up. How many people have you killed? Like, what? Come on, man. Like, dude, it, it, I, I, like, it's little stuff like that. You know, like I said, I've been through a lot with the police. That really wasn't cool. Uh, so before y'all start really always trying to, you know, strong arm black men in the neighborhood and do this and do that. You know, come into the neighborhood, have sit-downs with us. Let's have a lunch and let's do this. And maybe you will see a different side of people instead of throwing handcuffs on them and beating them up or locking them up. Thanks for watching StreetGangs.com. Please like and share the video you just watched and leave a comment below to tell us what you think. You can also watch two of our previous episodes to the right. Please visit the link to our Patreon page and support our campaign. And don't forget to subscribe.